Hey Preppers, Toby Truman here. I decided not to do a short form cartoon for this video as I want to make sure we get to take a deep dive into this topic. And the topic today is something that's very easy to get lost in, as today you are literally awash in options for purchasing Mylar bags and oxygen absorbers. And that's always been a tongue twister. First, in case you don't want the whole watch the whole video, here's the TLDR. When you buy oxygen absorbers, you can purchase from us and have the lowest cost and highest effectiveness. If you buy from the competitors I talk about here, with one of them you get to pay about four bucks more for a hundred units and forty two percent less effectiveness. And the other you get to pay about three more three dollars more for a hundred units for seventy nine percent less effectiveness. If you want to see the analysis, keep watching. So today we're going to look at what is the cost per 1000 cc of oxygen absorption when purchasing the most common 300 cc oxygen absorbers. First, why is that important? Because oxygen absorber prices, they tend to be similar. It's easy to think they're the same. Um, the sad thing is they're just not. Lots of people out there are paying double or triple or quintuple for oxygen absorbers when you look at their actual effectiveness. Better oxygen absorbers means your food stores better long term. That's what this really comes down to. Uh, you spend a lot of money on food to put back for emergencies and you want to purchase the best supplies to store them with. As I'll show over the next couple of videos, that's not the sellers with the best graphics and the really cool packaging. It's little old us. Our family is getting close to our 20th year prepping and our business is 14 years old and that's way older than the folks who jumped on the train after pre prepping became more mainstream after doomsday preppers in 2011 or so. Second, this video is using Phil at 4800's data on oxygen absorbers. I'll put the links below to the specific videos. If you haven't seen Phil's videos on Mylar bags and oxygen absorbers, you need to. He is one of those YouTube engineer guys and he evaluates products just like a testing lab would. He's not affiliated with us. We have no commercial relationships. I honestly didn't see any of uh, his videos in that series until about four months after the one on us came out. But I appreciate that he's thorough and he has strong methodology. In all of his testing, two companies generally come out on top. Discount Mylar Bags, us, and the LDS. The thing about the LDS is they carry exactly one bag <laughs> and one oxygen absorber in a 100-pack. Um, I don't include the LDS numbers in what I'm talking about today, as, as today I'm talking about our retail competitors. But if you want the strongest absorber available in that one size and package size, you can find the LDS 300cc absorber on their website. Um, still, our absorbers were pretty close to the LDS, and we are both way overrated in our capacities. Um, and our bags are awesome as well. Plus, we carry about a bajillion more sizes, styles, and varieties of both bag and absorber. Also, we're the only ones carrying the slow-acting oxygen absorbers, which if you are storing freeze-dried food, that's what you should be using. So, who am I talking about today? I'm looking at Packfresh and Wallaby as kind of our two closest competitors. They are both way, way, way better at marketing than I am. But what I want to talk about today is behind the scenes. Even if their graphics and websites and packaging are cleaner and prettier, where it counts in the actual quality of our products, Discount Mylar Bags is... Our new, as our new tagline says, just better. So here we go. First, the raw data. Linked below is Phil's first video where he looked at our bags and oxygen absorbers. He goes through his entire testing process, which is pretty cool to watch. At the end of it, our 300cc oxygen absorbers had an actual capacity of 1106 cc's. That's about 368% of their rated capacity. We think that's pretty awesome. It means you have plenty of time to use them after you open them. You don't have to rush like you do with some absorbers. It also means that if you store them in a mason jar or mylar, mylar, mylar bag, they'll be good the next time you need them also, and the time after that, and the time after that. Uh, in the second video, he shows the data for Wallaby and Packfresh. 
The reason our numbers look different is he was testing our freshest absorbers that time and not our stronger oxy-free absorbers. Our numbers are still excellent and still higher than both Pack Fresh and Wallaby. The one reason to buy freshest absorbers is because they come in packs of 10, where the oxy-free absorbers come in 20s. Over the years, I've come to realize that this is a huge deal for many people as we sell more freshest absorbers than oxy-free and they're just more convenient. However, if you want stronger absorbers to protect your food, you should be buying what I call the blue ones. Okay, so now t let's take a look at the chart of the raw data. A couple of things stand out. First, our numbers aren't just a little better. They're a lot better. No offense to Wallaby, but they've been doing this for a few years now. When you compare our oxygen absorber sizes to theirs, I wonder if it's possible if they've been missizing their absorbers. Let's take a look. Our 100cc oxygen absorber is just about the same size as their 400cc oxygen absorber. Um, and according to Phil's data, this doesn't even rate as a 400cc oxygen absorber. In Phil's testing, our 100cc absorber rated 333cc's actual absorption or more than Wallaby's 400cc oxygen absorber. Um, if you want to compare the size, we'll just take a look at a couple more sizes because I, I think it's telling. So this is a 2000cc oxygen absorber from Wallaby. This is a 2500cc. It's just a tiny bit bigger. This is our 500cc oxygen absorber, and you can actually see that it is a little bit bigger than the Wallaby 2000cc absorber. Um, and just because we're talking about 300ccs, here's our 300cc. It is pretty close in size to Wallaby's 2000cc absorbers. And oxygen absorption is determined by the weight of the iron powder in the packets, so the sizing is important when you compare them. Um, just for reference, so again, here's the 2000cc for Wallaby. Here is our 2000cc. And not only is it wider and longer, it is considerably thicker. Um, so it's probably four or five times the weight do with that what you will just some size comparisons um whoever said size doesn't matter isn't never mind i won't talk about that anyway um so pack freshers absorbers are in the middle of the road uh when you compare the, our three brands and at least they're over their capacity one of the reasons manufacturers give extra capacity is so that they have a shelf life so at least they're doing what they're doing supposed to be doing and then some extra Okay, so now that we have this data, what do we do with it? When I was watching Phil's second videos, one of the things I didn't like was how he was comparing pricing. First, he gave a, pack, a case price for Pack Fresh, but regular retail price for everybody else. And so their unit cost was super low compared to everybody else. So take a, a look at this second chart where I've, I've cleaned up the data. Um, I used the shipped price of 100 units from both Pack Fresh, ours, and Wallaby's website. I used 100 units because Wallaby only has 100 pack that I could find, so I wanted to keep this video apples to apples where possible. Now, that may change after this video releases, so please only take this as a snapshot in time as of today, March 19th, 2024. That's what uh, Phil says in all of his videos. It's like people can, can change as things move forward, but as of today, and has been the same for the last few years, that's how this currently looks. So, in many worlds, you'd expect that the higher price would give you a better product. But as we're showing, that's just absolutely not the case. The third chart is where I'm assuming you've placed a $75 order at Discount Mylar Bags, and it's basically the best price available on all three websites, barring wholesale pricing. So let's take a look at the dollar per thousand cc comparison. To get 1,000 cc of oxygen absorption from Discount Mylar Bags, it costs about 14 cents. To get that same absorption from Peck Fresh, you're looking at about 31 cents, or more than double. 
um, and Wallaby's numbers gets crazy. You have to spend more than 500% to get the same absorption from them. Now, I know folks have their favorites, but maybe these numbers will change some minds. When we started this business, I always wanted to offer the best products at the best prices. With so many products on the marketplace now, I'm I'm just super glad that we've managed to do that, even with nine bazillion sellers entering the marketplace who are better at marketing than I am. But their products just aren't as good as ours. Um, on our next video, I'm going to go over the puncture and burst testing Phil did on Mylar bags and how our bags compare to everybody else. I will give you a hint, though. As our tagline says, discount Mylar bags is just better in terms of bags also. And again, not by a little. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, complaints, suggestions in the comments below. And please remember to like, subscribe, and share for the real deal about food storage. Peace. I love y'all. Bye.